The planet that we live in, our Earth, is the only known planet where life exists. But the conditions were not always as friendly as it is right now. In fact, the conditions of the primitive Earth were very hostile. Our Earth was formed approximately 4.5 billion years ago. The young Earth was very hot, having temperatures of more than 100 degrees Celsius. There were extensive volcanic eruptions, releasing huge amount of volcanic ash and gases like water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide. The particles of volcanic ash used to collide and resulted in development of electrical discharge causing volcanic lightning. The gases released from these eruptions formed the early atmosphere which was reducing in nature due to the presence of reducing gases. However, the oxygen was either trapped in the form of oxides of nitrogen, sulfur, carbon or in the form of water vapor. As the time passed, the earth started to cool down and the condensing water vapor poured down in the form of heavy rains. After several hundred million years of rainfall, great oceans were formed. These conditions were perfect for the origin of life on earth but not for evolution and existence of diverse forms of life that exist today. The first life evolved approximately 3.7 to 3.8 billion years ago and was heterotrophic in nature. Around 500 million years later evolved the first organisms that were able to harness the energy of sun to prepare their food as they were able to perform photosynthesis. These organisms were similar to the modern day purple and green sulfur bacteria and used to perform an oxygenic photosynthesis. The source of electron and proton here was mainly hydrogen sulfide. But things started to change after the origin of blue-green algae as the mode of photosynthesis performed by them was slightly different. Instead of hydrogen sulfide as a source of electron and proton, these organisms broke down water molecules. This resulted in release of oxygen molecules in the atmosphere for the first time. Within a period of few hundred million years, blue-green algae totally transformed the composition of atmosphere, changing it from a reducing atmosphere to an oxidizing atmosphere, which is referred to as the Great Oxidation Event. This occurred roughly around 2.4 billion years ago. The presence of oxygen in the atmosphere also resulted in development of ozone layer in the upper atmosphere, preventing majority of the harmful solar radiations from reaching the earth, creating a much hospitable condition. However, this change did not produce favorable outcome for majority of the existing life forms, as they could not adapt to the oxidizing atmosphere and this led to their extinction. The organisms that survived laid a foundation for the evolution of much more complex life forms. As the blue-green algae were the organisms responsible for great oxidation event, so let's see some features of the blue-green algae in detail. Blue-green algae is a group of photosynthetic prokaryote and are also referred as cyanobacteria. These bacteria can either be unicellular, may form colonies, or have long filamentous bodies called trichome. The body of filamentous blue-green algae consists of two main type of cells, the vegetative cell and the nitrogen-fixing cells called heterocysts. 
none of this form shows the presence of flagella so mobility is provided by the mucilage layer surrounding the body the cell wall consists of several layers made up of a polymer of modified sugar called peptidoglycan the cytoplasm can be distributed as the pigment containing peripheral part the chromoplasm and the colorless central part centroplasm the cyanobacteria shows presence of a wide range of photosynthetic pigments like chlorophyll carotenoids and phycobilins attached to the membranous structures called chromatophores the presence of such wide range of pigments helps them to harness energy from different wavelength of sunlight the centroplasm contains structures like ribosomes gas vacuoles proteins enzymes and aggregates of other such molecules the genetic material dna is also present in the cytoplasm itself as being prokaryote blue green algae lacks a well defined nucleus The heterocysts are specialized cells where fixation of atmospheric nitrogen occurs into ammonia. Anaerobic conditions are created in these cells to carry out the nitrogen fixation process. Another interesting feature of cyanobacteria is the ability to show chromatic adaptations in presence of different wavelength of light. This was first observed by Emerson and Gadukov and is called Gadukov's phenomena. In presence of white light the blue green algae shows blue green color in presence of red light though they produce greenish color in yellow light they appear bluish in color and in presence of blue light they show yellowish color so if you have made this far into the video i would like to thank all of you for showing so much support on this channel we have crossed the milestone of 300 subscribers recently and about to reach 350 subscribers if you enjoyed watching this video let me know by dropping a comment or even consider subscribing to the channel